What's up, YouTube? I get a lot of questions about my job and the work I do, so now I'd like to bring y'all along and give you a glimpse inside my life. I'm gonna do my best to show you some of the ins and outs of what I learned over all my years in the field, but not just only the welding aspects alone, but everything from fabrications to repairs, fitting, blueprint reading, and whatever else we may come across. But like anybody, work is not everything for me, so I will also be documenting these videos for the most important part of why I leave my house every morning to go drop my hood down in the first place, which is my family, okay? So now, with that out the way, let's get into this video. So the black steel support you see right behind me got shipped out to us already partially pre-assembled and the only way to get them set in place where they needed to be was to either cut that I-beam and all the bracing out or to just simply cut the pipe, weld in a set of flanges and a spool piece. And since this plant is shut down right now, it was the simplest way to get the job done and they was cool with it. Now, right here what you see me doing is called a fill pass. It's basically right after the root just filling up the pipe. One thing you want to remember is, when you're starting at 6 o'clock, coming up off of that bottom, in a field well position, where you're not in the stands, make sure you turn your heat down, at least 5. I mean, whatever you're comfortable with, but I go usually about 5. If I'm running at, say, 90 in the stands, I run it at 85, maybe 86 on the field wells, okay? And the biggest thing to remember is, fill up that bevel. I know some people say they don't fill their bevels all the way up, but... In my personal experience, when you don't fill that bevel up, it gives you a very hard time getting that slag out of them corners, them toe lines. So I like to fill my bevels up. Also, when I get around to about seven, it's time to start moving. You got to be getting up that pipe. If you going back and forth, side to side, whatever, however your motion is, you got to be moving forward just as fast as you move it side to side, especially in that seven to nine or four to, what is it, three o'clock? You gotta be moving up that pipe. Once you get up around three o'clock and higher, you can kind of take your time and relax a little bit. But before that, you gotta make sure you on the go because that thing will wanna sag out, it'll droop, it'll get too hot, it'll fall out, you know. But even worse than that is you can blow a hole in your whole root and that's terrible. It's something that takes plenty of practice, but you can get it. Now that you're done with that bottom portion, this top quarter should be your easy side. It should be the one that you're the most comfortable with, the one that you can relax on, kind of take a breather, and really get into your zone. Okay, now when you're starting this cat pass on the bottom, don't forget, you already filled up your bevels. It should be about flush, but you're gonna wanna step a little outside of that, maybe just a 16th of an inch. Some people go about a half a rod's worth both ways, left to right as you're weaving back and forth. I like to stay a little bit closer to them bevels and use them as a good guideline. And I don't run mine too wide or too fat, but they end up coming out looking good. Also, it's good to practice with both hands. You don't only want to be dominant with your strong hand and you can't switch over when you need to. Because just like right now, I got that concrete wall to my left and I really can't move my ladder over no more. Even though it's not that high off the ground, I need that ladder. So since I couldn't comfortably get to it the way I wanted to with my right hand, I had to just switch over to my left hand, which wasn't no problem. You know, as long as you practice, you can get good with both hands and be dominant either way. Trust me, it'll save you in the long run.
so that's pretty much it for this one i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe to see more of my videos and i'll catch you on the next one